MTC artists, welcome to your very first edition of Art Outside the Classroom. My name is Jenna Miller and today we will be talking about land art. As you can see, today we are taking it outside and we will not be needing any traditional art materials for this art class. However, I will give you the option at the end of this class to either use a camera or a smartphone to photograph your creations. This way you can upload your photos and share with me and your other classmates. So grab a partner, a pair of scissors, and maybe a smartphone, and let's go outside and begin. Also called earth art, land art is a type of art that makes use of the materials naturally found in our environment. Things like sticks, rocks, even ice, land artists use to make sculptures that directly interact with nature and their surroundings. One notable figure in the land art movement is British artist Andy Goldsworthy. In his artwork, Andy Goldsworthy follows the same principles of design that we do in painting. Things like line, texture, color, shape, and balance. Andy Goldsworthy is so successful in his artwork because it is balanced. He achieves this balance by paying special attention to something that we call symmetry. Symmetry is a word we use to describe something that is the same on both or multiple sides. Here is an example of symmetry. When we cut a heart out of a piece of paper, we fold the paper in half and then begin cutting half of the heart's outline. The reason we do this is when we open the heart up, the outline is flipped along that, that middle edge like a mirror. This is called symmetry. This heart is symmetrical. Another type of symmetry that Andy Goldsworthy used is called radial symmetry. Check out this sun shape. This sun shape can be folded any way and be the same on both sides. This is called radial symmetry. This sun shape is radially symmetrical. But what do we call a shape that cannot be folded in any way to make something that is the same on both sides? This blue shape cannot be matched up. There is no line that we can flip it across that will make it the same. This is called asymmetrical. This blue shape is asymmetrical. Using those ideas of symmetry, we will be creating our very own land art. Now, if you're not in a place that has a whole lot of natural supplies, it might be in your best interest to go for a walk and start collecting items as you see them. Before we begin this assignment, please check out some of these beautiful inspirational works by land artists. Note how these sculptures change the way people interact with nature. Imagine taking a walk and finding one of these masterpieces. What would you think? Would you think it happened by accident? By nature? Or did someone make this? I want you to try to stump people that come along and find your artwork on their walks.